Hey everyone, it's Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide and I am at the premiere of High Strung Free Dance. This is gonna be your next big dance movie obsession. Y'all are gonna love it. Please tune into these interviews. You're not gonna wanna miss it, so stay tuned. Okay, so this must be a humongous night for you. Two, over two years in the making, right? It is, yeah. So I, am, I am a little bit overwhelmed. The first interview I just did, I stumbled for about five minutes, so I'm trying to get better, but I can't promise anything. Yeah, it's pretty overwhelming. It's okay, we know each other now, right? We do, we do, we're friends. It's okay. I feel comfortable with you. I'm so glad. Good. <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about the most challenging part of playing this character. Well, the piano, I guess. I mean, there was a lot of work to be done. And I had a basic understanding of piano before I started. You know, I was, was alright, but um, 18 songs is a lot to learn in two months. And so, just a lot of preparation on that. And... Uh, the dancers did so much preparation themselves and they did an incredible, incredible job. And uh, our composer did an amazing job. The score's fantastic, so everyone kind of just helped me out and uh, made it easy, hopefully. <laughs> so in real life, you're not the savant that you play. Oh, I'm, I'm all right. I think I'm better now. I'm, I wouldn't call myself a savant. No, definitely not. But um, yeah, I, I can definitely get by. And I've, uh, I've played bits and bobs since, but it's been a while since I played the level that I was playing before because, you know, it's been two years since we shot the movie. Um, so in that time, there's other projects. You don't quite quite enough time to play on the piano, but I still want to. I still want to do it. I just ordered one, so uh, should be getting back on it soon. So tonight is the premiere. Why was this film such a passion project for you? Um, I always wanted to be a ballerina, and in fact, I trained in classical ballet and in other dance form too, and uh, performed until I was about 17 when I injured myself and I couldn't dance anymore. So for me, you know, the little me inside is still screaming to dance. So when I see extraordinary dance and amazing talent um, I, I get it and understand it probably more than most and uh, I just love being around them you know and I, I, th I think that these um, films that Michael Damien and Janine make are wonderful and uh, you know I think it's a great way to introduce people to all dance and also this great story behind it because it's, in my case it's the mother-daughter fight of you know what you should be doing what you train for the advice that I think is the right advice and then ultimately realizing that you can't tell your daughter what to do but you can be there for her when she has her moments. I'm good. Uh, so this must be very full circle for you because this film has been in the works for like two years now. It has been a minute, yeah. We, um, we filmed it two years ago in Romania and in New York uh, and it's finally, it's finally come to fruition and it's actually my first premiere. I've never been to a premiere before. Well, you have a lot of premieres coming up. I do, I do, I do, uh, which is very exciting. There's actually one on the 17th uh, for Catherine the Grey, which is exciting. Uh, and Legacies, actually. I'm doing the CW Legacies at premieres tonight. Uh, and then obviously I've got this tonight. And then I've also got... Uh, high Fidelity with Zoe Kravitz coming out on Hulu, so I'm a busy guy. <laughs> what the heck happened in the past two years? <laughs> it's happened, you know, it's all picked up and it's amazing. Like, I've been so lucky to work with Helen Mirren and like incredible actors and, and directors and DPs. I mean, it's such a... You guys see us, but it's such a, a, a team effort. Yeah, and to be able to play and work with these guys is really cool. Oh my god, Juliet, you look so different from two years ago when you were in the film. I know, I one summer in New York and I chopped all my hair off. I was like, I can't have this heat anymore. <laughs> so we're here now. Well, you look amazing and this film is fantastic. Tell me what drew you to it originally. Um, just, just the story of how Michael and Janine are really shining a light on the, the positive sides of the dance world and, and there are very difficult things that come along when you're an artist and you are dreaming big and going for your goals but um, but yeah we're not focusing on on the struggle or like the the dark side or over dramatizing that it really is a celebration of dance and uh, and it's the culmination of a lot of different uh, genres of, of music and um, and art and and dance and uh, and choreography and all of this so I'm just excited to share this with, with people this is your first acting gig your first film yes it is oh my gosh so when I first sent in my headshots for this I I thought I was just dancing and then they asked me to read and I was like, 
okay, like I guess I can do that. And then I ended up booking the role, so it worked out really well, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Well, you guys had so much chemistry, like girls' club, dancing, roommate. So easy because I, me and Natalie Santiago, who plays Paloma, like we're friends in real life. So once we like found out we were both doing it, it was just like, oh, oh, great. Like it just worked out so perfectly. And then when we added Juliet in the mix, it was just like one big happy girl group. Well, so one of my favorite scenes of the film is when you guys have your little dance party. In our apartment, um, in our apartment. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun shooting because it was just like a crazy like girls' party. Like I felt like I was living my best Spice Girls. Life, you know? Was it like improv where you guys just doing your own moves? Like it was a little bit. Like there were parts where Tice would help us kind of like coordinate like here, maybe try this, but sometimes we were just going for it and doing our own thing, so we had a lot of fun. You are a woman that like you cannot keep you down. Like you are here and you're doing amazing. Tell me about what it's like to be back on the circuit. Well, you know, one of the interview questions I used to drill my kids with for pageants and, you know, Miss Dance of America and that stuff. Uh, one of the questions was, if you could name a flower, what flower would you be? And the correct answer is a dandelion because you can't keep me down. Boom. That's it. So you just said that. That was funny. Yes. Uh, you know, you can laugh or you can cry. And I choose to laugh. So chin up, chest out, and you just keep on rolling, you know? And so, I mean, you have been so successful in so many different industries. I've been so unsuccessful in many industries. <laughs> but that's part of life. That's actually part of success, well, right? You know, my advice to every kid out there is just get a really good attorney and a really good accountant. <laughs> and then second and third guess everything they do. It's crazy. Crazy. You trust professionals. Like, people trust me with their child. And I produce amazing, talented, working, employable dancers. And yet... I trust other people to do their jobs, and they didn't always do them back then. So, you have a, I have a better team now, a much better team now. I also know that since what you've been through, you are you want to be an advocate for so many things. I heard about you want to team up with Kim K. You are going to make some changes. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, uh, when I was released from my staycation in the desert, I decided to be an advocate and like just go crazy about the whole prison system. It's nuts. And then five days later, I got a pain in my neck and ended up with Burkitt lymphoma. And then it was a cancer thing. And now I'm in a wheelchair trying to ride around the streets of Los Angeles, try to get a taxi. I waited 45 minutes tonight for a handicapped taxi to come to pick me up. It's nuts. You have no idea what those roots and the trees, you know, they do to the sidewalk and they rip it all up and people on a wheelchair can't get through. So what are you going to do to change it? Well, I don't know. I found out yesterday that this chair was $110,000 that they billed my insurance company. I'm like, you could have bought me a van that I could drive with that. It's insane. So, I, I don't know. Got to get to the plan in action here and start moving. Hey, guys, we hope that you have enjoyed these interviews here at the premiere of High Strung Free Dance. We have had some amazing interviews. We hope that you guys have enjoyed them. If you'd like to see more like them, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, go to our Facebook, or download our app for free. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, what's up? It is Thomas Doherty here, and you are watching MEA.